At that time, they were aware of the of size we'd all like them to be. But he went and he got me and he brought me in. And I've got to say, on the first day, I'd, I had a staff member who was Andy Holden. And he said to me the other day, I was going out before the West Ham game, he said, Do you remember when you came in on the first day and you were shaking, you were on your top before you went out? And that's what it was like. It was nervous joining the network. It was a great club. But we went and we got the victory that day. And that was my first real memory of, of joining Everton. The people who remember the games we went and after that, we, started, we, we, we won the next couple of games. And I remember I had to take David Beer into the office on my first day and say, David, I'm going to give Duncan Ferguson the armband. Uh, I just think it's right. We need to somehow avoid relegation. We need to be keep away from the bottom end. David, as you would expect, was spot on. And I remember telling Duncan, and I had, been a, I had been a leader of most of the teams I'd been at, not at Everton's level, but most of the teams I'd been. And I remember when I gave Duncan the captain, and that first day in the dressing room, it nearly took my breath away. Duncan was unbelievable. He was ready to charge them up. He was a, a, a proper man, a proper leader. And I thought to myself, my goodness, I've been rubbish all my life compared to him. It was fantastic. But I went on a couple of games later on. We went to we went to Newcastle. I don't know how many men were up that day. We actually lost six two up at Newcastle. I think Duncan might have scored early and sometimes we lost six two. And after the game we went into the, into the office and it was it was the first real defeat I think we'd had. I remember Bobby Robson turned around and said it's welcome to the Premier League for David Moyes. I remember and I always remember that I thought he was right. I was going to make sure it never happened again, and if it did, it was never going to happen too often, that's for sure. And it was the sort of the inspiration and the drive from someone like Bobby Robson who near enough made me think, this is going to be a real hard job. So as I moved on in time, we had lots of ups and downs. We had a season where we finished near the bottom. We were safe in April. We lost four or five of the last six games. And we lost the last game of the season to Manchester City, five or six nothing as well. And if ever, if ever there was a time where we thought maybe my job would have been in jeopardy, it would have been then. But because of the stability that the chairman had given and the club had given through Sir Philip Carter, John Woods, Robert Perrell, uh, Keith Tamler, uh, Robert Elston Howe, all through the club there was a real steadiness that the club weren't going to panic and do anything stupid. So. I was really fortunate at that time. But I've got to also say, I think Everton at that time also had a little bit of a mentality. Let's just avoid relegation, that would be enough. And there was no way I was going to have that. I couldn't have it, it wasn't the way I, the way I wanted it to be. And I don't think it was the way the supporters wanted it to be. I know it wasn't. But let me move just as I'm getting on when I say it. The next year or so, we started to find European football. And it was unbelievable. We went to Metalist Kharkiv. Then we went to Nuremberg for the people who were there. No. Then we ended up in Fiorentina. And I, and I thought to myself, this was a bit, I mean, the, I still tell the story, we couldn't sleep in the afternoon of the Nuremberg game because the supporters were in the square and they were singing all the way. It was, it was really, it was really, really important. You remember the Fiorentina game? It was a brilliant game, Fiorentina. We lost there, we got them back, and we got it back to 2-2 two, two, two in the end. And it ended up, we lost the penalties, I think it was Jags who missed the penalty. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing, nothing was more fitting than it was Jags who get the win on the semi-final referee cup. <laughs> so, I've got numerous memories. The memories I've got from Everton have gone with me for a long time, you know. And I'm not, and I'm using his name again. Duncan's goal against Manchester United was got in the Champions League. That guy was, was very good. And, and I said that I'm going to forget people and I'm going to think this. When I first started, Alan Irvin was brilliant for me. Alan Irvin was a great coach. He's doing a great job with that guy. And, and the staff that I've got around me, I came in, it was Jimmy Clark and all the, all the kit men. They, Travel. They, they were all they were all very part of it. You have to talk about how, how good 
uh, behind the scenes, it's behind the scenes of Everest, and I think the people were there. And I had my secretary to start, it was Irene, and I'm really fortunate now that I've been sued, because I'll tell you what, don't you, don't you come near my door, you come near my door, sue me again, yeah, so don't worry about that. So, sue me, sure that everything was great for me, and kept everything sound. So my memories go, go on and on and ever. One of, one of the things that I have to say is how well my family's been treated. My family's been treated unbelievably. You know, the way Bill treats them, the way, the way my dad is treated by everybody, whether it be away from home or whether it be abroad. <laughs> or, or just the, the, the pubs around the world. It's, it's been great, it really has. So we thank you as a family for everything, everything that's been done at Everton. You know, I can tell you some, some great stories about where we've been away with the team and things we've had. You know, we always take the team away. We've had some great trips to New York, Miami, <laughs> different times. And always part of it was that, you know, any new players had to sing it as part of the, the regime. You know, and every, the players will tell you, you used to have to stand up at the table. And when we had Joe Yobo, Joe, Joe Yobo was a great MC. He made, he made everybody get up, introduced them all. And probably the worst, the worst ever was Phil Neville. <laughs> Give us a song! Uh, Phil, Phil was more scared singing a song than he was now playing in front of 60,000. He found it, he found it terrible. But it, it's the character that the players have got and the spirit we've had throughout all the players in my time have been, have been great. And it's, it's the one thing I think to myself is how lucky have I been not just good players, but great men, and for that I really, really thank them all. But if I came down to the current group of players we've got, that would be the hardest bit because I brought them all, except for Ozzy and Nibble, who were already here. They were, they were part of it and have been since I was there. So everybody else I've brought in. So I take full responsibility. And I, I've always been <laughs> I've always wanted to give the players everything we can. Always told them we're, we're going to be at the top of the league. We're going to be, we're going to be there all the time. We're going to keep getting better. And I believe we have. I'll tell you what I do think though. The group of players we've got are, are great. The way they work. They police themselves. In training every day, they are the ones who demand it. And after my time, they won't allow it to change because there's too many of the same. They know the standards are set. They know what's required. <laughs> behind the scenes, behind the scenes, you know, it wasn't too long ago that it was David Weir and Alan Stubbs and Duncan who were the players. And, I, and we laughed out, the staff laughed, Jimmy Lummers did myself. We laughed out because we said, remember what they were like? Remember, now they're back in the staff. And it'll be the same, and there'll be more coaches come out of the group who's there because they're great ones and they're, they're obviously the best in players. I really, I really, really like to thank the players for the way they've done this year because I think they've been excellent. I think they've been in the top half of the league all season, in the top group, pushing the whole year. The record we've had at home has been excellent. They've been brilliant in all the games for me. They really have. I couldn't fault them at all. So I would have a really big thank you for everything they've done. <laughs> I will finish now, and I said that I, no doubt I've missed lots of people out, and, and, and I apologise for that. I'm going to say that on, on Sunday's game, I've got to say that I thought Everton showed great class and the way they treated their manager, they really did. But, but, more, but more importantly for me, was in the second half, you supported your club. You knew you were losing your manager, but you supported your club. I admire that more than I admire anything for the way you were. I hope you keep supporting your club, as I'm sure you will. And I wish you all a very nice Thank you.